In this video, we'll look at assigning routines to dates using the Daily Routine app for iPhone. A routine represents a template for a day and only appears in the Daily Routine timeline once it is assigned to actual dates. To do this, we use the Dates feature. Here we see a list of our routine schedules at the top and a calendar preview of those routine schedules at the bottom. By default, the example routine is scheduled for every day. For this video, I have also created two other routines which I will also be adding to the routine calendar. The easiest way to assign a routine to a date is to tap on the calendar. I've tapped a Tuesday, so Daily Routine is asking me whether I want just the Tuesday I tapped or Tuesday of every week. I'll choose every Tuesday. Newly created routine schedules appear at the top of the list. Daily Routine has picked a routine at random. We can change the routine for this schedule by tapping the Routine button and selecting a new routine. We can also drag on the calendar to create more complicated schedules. Daily Routine will again ask us whether we meant the selected dates only or the general days of the week. If we drag from one week to another, as I have here, we see a third option letting us select specific days of week between the two drag dates. By now you've probably noticed that new schedules, such as the blue one, seem to block schedules created beforehand, such as the pink one. Daily Routine will let us schedule multiple routines, but only the topmost routine will be used for a given day. We can change which routine is topmost by tapping the sort button. The schedules shift over a little, and then we can change the order of routines until the calendar looks right. Then we tap the sort button again to return to scheduling mode. Sometimes we need to edit a schedule. To edit a schedule, tap it in the top list, then tap its dates button. The schedule editor allows us to specify the date range for the schedule, as well as which days, weeks and months it covers. These four factors all work together. At the moment, our schedule covers Monday to Friday between two specific dates. I could remove this date restriction by tapping the Forever button, or I could edit the dates. As we change the schedule, notice that the description at the top is changing too. The next section is Days. We can choose Every Day, Specific Days of the Week, or Specific Days of the Month. The next section is Weeks. Again, we have a choice. The default is every week, but we can also choose alternating weeks. It is possible to create a schedule which matches the no dates. In this case, Daily Routine will warn us. In addition to simple repetition, we can choose weeks relative to the start of the month. For example, here I can select the fourth week of the month. Finally, we have months. By default, all months are selected, but we can deselect them as needed. Our schedule description is getting quite complicated. So at the bottom of the page we also see a list of the first few dates covered by the schedule. This list will warn us if our schedule matches no dates. Once we're happy with our schedule, we tap the Done button. And we see the calendar is now updated to show our edited schedule. If a schedule is no longer needed, we can delete it. Deleting a schedule does not delete the associated routine. So we can easily create another schedule for this routine later. Remember, you can create, edit and delete routine schedules at any time, even for the current day. This has been an overview of assigning routines to dates using Daily Routine. Please see the help section of the app for more Daily Routine tutorial videos.